Number four, I would say that this Pro is something that I kind of bought into thinking it would be a con, but the Haas has been really thermally stable. I thought that I would be chasing thousands from the morning to the afternoon, hot day, cold day. The most I've seen um, vary is about eight tenths, maybe a thou. Uh, if we're going from very cold, it's been sitting, we had a cold weekend, and then Monday morning we have a heat wave roll into Southern California. Um, and so the shop is still cold. We roll up the doors, change the, the temperature. Uh, we don't have a big temperature fluctuation, of course, being Southern California. We're never in freezing temperatures. And it's really rare that we experience uh, 100 degree days and especially 100 degrees in the shop. We're not climate controlled. Our next facility will be. But yeah, the most I've seen it where we just get it um, up to uh, its right, um, yeah, it's, I can't say it's temperature, but it's a, just a stable operating range is maybe 30, 45 minutes where the spindle starts, you know, um, putting some, some electrons through it and it, it gets to its happy medium. And then we chase those first maybe five, 10 parts, adjust, and then we get into a nice flow. We walk away pretty much for the rest of the day. Um, we have a system that alarms us or, or alerts us to check it every about 50 parts. And maybe the guys are setting offsets, maybe like maybe a 10th or two. Um, now this is not a knock against Doosan. In the other column is not a con. The Doosan has always been a well-built machine, very thermally stable. It's just that the Haas is remarkably stable compared to the Doosan. That caught me off guard. That's a very happy pro in my column for Haas. All right, so in editing this, we actually discovered something else about the Haas control. It has thermal compensation in a startup. So where it takes, you put in a, a block of time, we have it set to one hour, and you tell it how much it varies in that amount of time. Ever since we've done that, it's even been more accurate than we anticipated. So lesson learned on this one, don't always talk like you're an expert when you haven't had a lot of time on stuff. Hint, hint, message boards, anyone?